The Mode menu, accessed by pressing the Mode key, is one of the most important menus in the calculator. It determines how numbers are interpreted and displayed by the calculator, as well as how graphs are displayed. To enter the Mode menu, just press the Mode button. Note that although many functions are very similar, the TI-84 Plus and the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition have different options in the Mode menu. This movie shows the TI-84 Plus options. The first row determines how numbers are displayed on the calculator. Normal will just display numbers as entered. SCI will show numbers in scientific notation, and ENG will show numbers in engineering notation. The second row determines how decimals are displayed by the calculator, either as a floating point decimal or by rounding off. So, for example, if I wanted to round all numbers to two decimal places, I could simply select the number 2 here, and the calculator will automatically round to two decimal places. The third row determines whether angles are interpreted as radians or degrees. The fourth row down determines how functions are displayed. If you're going to use a regular function in the y equals f of x format, then leave it on FUNC for function. Use PAR if you're going to be entering parametric equations, POL for polar equations, and SEQ for sequence graphing or iterative equations. The next row down determines how lines are graphed on the calculator. You can choose to have the lines as connected lines or as dotted lines. The next row down determines how your graphs are plotted by your calculator. If you would like them to be plotted sequentially, in other words, one right after the other, then you can leave it on the sequential setting. If, however, you'd rather they be plotted simultaneously, you can choose simultaneous. The next row determines how complex numbers are displayed. If you're going to be working with only real numbers, you can leave it on the real setting. If you're going to be using complex numbers, in the A plus BI format, you can choose that setting. And finally, if you're going to be using complex numbers in the polar format, then you can choose the last setting. The next row determines what you see when you press the graph button on the calculator. Full will show a full screen view of the graph. Horizontal will show a split screen view and will split the screen into two horizontal sections. One section shows the actual graph and the other section shows the functions that were used to plot the graph. The GT or graph table setting is also a split screen setting. It splits the screen into two sections. The first section is the actual graph and the second section is a table of data that was used to plot the graph. I'll press the down arrow key to go to the next page.